We were just talking about this with our producer, Nathan and Robert. We have not really changed what we've been wearing because of the pandemic. We are still dressed up every day to do the news, but it's a good time to maybe take off the winter jacket because it's gorgeous out. Yeah, it is. It really, really is. And uh, we have certainly earned it. I've been, as I've said over the past couple of weeks with that insane cold that we had, we deserve some temperatures in the 60s and 70s, and that's what we're going to get. Live look outside to Lowell right now. You can see Interstate 49 traffic moving nice and smoothly on this Saturday night. 62 degrees. Look how light those winds are. South, southeast at just one mile an hour. River Valley also very nice. Look at the sun just starting to set there. 63 in Van Buren. A very, very tranquil Saturday evening. Temperatures for just about everybody. Upper 50s and lower 60s across the region. It's just like a, like I said, a very nice evening out there. Clear skies. As we look at the satellite and radar picture, we're under the influence of some high pressure, keeping our skies clear. And that's what's going to happen here for the next couple of days. This area of high pressure is going to kind of meander around the state, basically keeping us clear. Maybe some high clouds tomorrow. Those should get out of here relatively quickly. We'll be left with a nice and clear Monday as well before we get towards Tuesday and those clouds start to increase ahead of our next weather maker, which could bring us some big changes for later next week, but still plenty of days of warmth to get through. However, that might be changing as we look at the temperatures for the next six to 10 days. Better than average chances of below normal temperatures right on our doorstep here. And then when we advance this to, to eight to 14 days out, pretty good shot of below normal temp temperatures winter might have one last gasp in her before spring takes over for good. Lows tonight about where they should be for this time of the year, mostly in the mid to lower 30s across the entire region. Winds will be light. Don't have to worry about much of a wind chill tomorrow. Very nice day with those temperatures rebounding into the mid to upper 60s. So if you have plans to head to the ballpark tomorrow to catch the Razorbacks, the top rated Razorbacks, a great day to catch a baseball game tomorrow. The temperatures in the lower 60s by the time they throw that first pitch. When you get up the stretch in the seventh inning, temperatures just a few degrees warmer, but lots of sunshine and light winds tomorrow as the Razorbacks take on Murray State. Here's a look at your extended forecast for the next couple of days. You can see, I want to say that the winds will be increasing, southerly winds, and that's going to increase our temperatures, but it will also probably increase, unfortunately, our fire danger, especially as we get towards Tuesday and Wednesday. So watch those burns, folks. And then you can see by the end of next week, chances increase for showers and thunderstorms. It's something we definitely have our eyes on and we will be uh, keeping an eye on that forecast, but still plenty of time to iron out those details. Let's worry about that later and focus on how nice it's going to be Sunday through probably the first half of Wednesday. Stay with us. Jordan is up next with your sports update.